Hello, my name is Alberta Roberts. I'm an independent author with interests in astronomy, telescope making and binoculars. I've written and self-published several books on these topics, all of which are available in Kindle and paperback editions from Amazon. Uh, EPUB editions of my books are also available from Kobo. You can find my books by searching Alberto Roberts on each site. Today I shall talk about my first published title, Making a Refracting Telescope. And here is the paperback version of my book. This would be a good starting point for anyone wanting to build their own basic astronomical telescope. Uh, here, mounted on a standard photographic tripod, is my 48mm refracting telescope, the subject of the book. I built this instrument many years ago. Commonly available materials and basic workshop, workshop tools were used in the making of this telescope. The vintage 48mm diameter objective lens is of superior quality and was originally used in Bart and Stroud rangefinding equipment. Now I've designed this telescope to work with a range of eyepieces and accessories. Uh, today I'm using a 25mm focal length eyepiece with the telescope and here it is secured in the draw tube. Uh, focusing is achieved by a push-pull draw tube mechanism uh, and this is the white tube you can see here. Uh, the telescope is aimed at a view from my window. Uh, mountains and a tall chimney stack can be seen in the distance. So if you bear with me, I shall remove the camera from the tripod so that you can see this view. So what we have here are two um, houses in the foreground and between them you should be able to see uh, in the distance a view of uh, Snowdonia mountain range and uh, a tall chimney stack uh, some two miles away. I shall now reposition the camera so that you can see the view through the eyepiece of the telescope. I shall hold the camera as steady as I can, but which is not easy. Okay. Please bear with me once again as I replace the camera on its, on its tripod. you will have noticed that the image was inverted. Uh, this was because an erecting lens had not been used for the eyepiece on this occasion. Well that brings me to the end of this uh, video. And thank you for watching. I would like to wish you every success in your telescope making projects. Thank you.